If you want to buy cheap and reliable Ultimate Team FIFA coins, then go to fifacoinszone.com. What's up guys, I'm Tom LFC Alvin and welcome to comment of the day in the brand new Liverpool career mode episode and uh, I have to say that you guys left some of the most amazing comments uh, on uh, some of the previous episode in the last five or six episodes I got some amazing comments uh, Luke Carpenter says you're such a great youtuber always puts a smile on my face makes me laugh with your great reactions in your career mode great fun make great signings that i use in my career world you will never walk alone forever that's absolutely brilliant and uh, martin molnar asks i must say you are the best youtuber i have ever seen keep up the woodwork tom and i absolutely love your get in there guys reaction your happiness from all goals and all successes is pure honest even if it's, it's if it's only a game i like it and i have you ask a question where are you from because your accent is interesting where i'm from hungary and it's interesting because your name is hungarian so you you might be hungarian as well what a <laughs> what a bigger surprise this would be <laughs> so let me know if you are watching this in the comments below and uh, thanks to every single one of you who leaves comments on my episodes also shout out to adam gaug who says, I'm a big fan of yours, have been watching you on YouTube since about FIFA 12. They always like and view all of your videos. Great commitment and you are amazing. Uh, thanks a lot for that. Uh, this was a Facebook message and also love your... Uh, shout out to Jamie Glenn. I love your series, Tom. Best career mode on YouTube. Keep up the good work. Thanks so much, guys. I put all my heart and all my time and effort into these episodes. So, hope you enjoy this one. It's a cracking 20 minute episode. So, enjoy it, guys. What's up, guys? I'm Tom LFC Evan, and welcome to a brand new Liverpool Carrier Mode episode. And here is the last 16 first leg results. There are some big, big ties. Paris Saint Germain won at Inter. Man City beat Barcelona 2 1, which was a little bit of a surprise. And um, as you can see, another shock result. Saint Etienne beat Dortmund 2 1. But I still think that the big teams in the second leg will prevail. We are already 3 nil up on aggregate against Sevilla. So we go into our home game at Anfield with this uh, young side. And I have a like challenge to set for you guys. Get this video to 150 likes and I will upload a second episode later today. So get this video to 150 likes. And uh, now let's go and play against Sevilla. Uh, with uh, that very very young team, but I have some big guns on the bench if uh, something goes wrong uh, I can uh, put them on so let's see how this goes in the lay in the rain We are playing uh, Sevilla. We are freeing up on aggregate, so we don't have a lot of things to worry about Let's try our best with this young team This is Anfield the home of Liverpool FC and the last 16 of the Champions League is upon us and I'm really really looking forward to this game if we can get through I'm sure that we will get a big big team in the next round so let's try and beat Sevilla again we are free nil up on aggregate and I wonder how this young team will do I, I play this young team because uh, <clears throat> the all the starting 11 basically were absolutely knackered really really tired especially the front three players Martial, Royce and Suarez were just really tired. So let's see how this game goes, guys. No! Damn it! I couldn't get near it. Thankfully, he missed the shot. I tried to slide in, as you can see, but couldn't block the shot. If that's on target, I think that's a goal. Alberto, come on, Luis Alberto, what? Oh my word, his finishing is not yet good enough. Oh, 
Oh, nice save, Butland. What the fuck? What the fuck happened? What the f- Oh my, what are you doing? Martin Kelly! What on earth is that touch? What on earth is that touch? Unbelievable. He basically gifts it. Gifts the ball to the Sevilla player who just scores easiest goal. And it's an absolute gift. Absolute gift. I can't believe it. Wow. It's 3-1 on aggregate. We have to be really careful now. Go on, Raheem. Finish. Must finish. Yes! Raheem Sterling, hopefully, he seals the tie with this goal. Get in, it's 4-1 on aggregate now. What a brilliant counter-attack. Campbell just laid the ball off to Sterling and nobody was catching Sterling with his devastating pace. And that's a clinical finish. Get in, guys. Oh my good days. Raheem Sterling is coming of age in this season. He's scoring more and more goals, getting more and more assists. He will be one hell of a player for us. Get in. Go on, Henderson. Great run. Campbell! Yes! Adam Campbell! Yes! That's his first Liverpool goal. Oh, the little ginger player. What a finish. And a great celebration. Oh, the little Campbell. I signed him at the beginning of this career mode and he's improving slowly but surely and that's a great first time finish into the bottom corner. I think that's his first Liverpool goal. Oh, little ginger player. I love him. <laughs> he looks so cute. <laughs> he's like 5 foot 4 or something like that, but the little ginger <laughs> He has no soul, but <laughs> he scores when he wants. He scores when he wants. Adam Campbell, he scores when he wants. <laughs> oh, great, great, great finish. So let's make three substitutions. Uh, M. Villa, Adorian, Christian Adorian, the Hungarian playmaker, and uh, Martial coming on. Oh, Bogdan, Bo Bo Butland. Jack Butland, what a save that is. Fantastic. Really, really smart save to keep us in the lead. Yes! Cat in! I trusted. I had faith in these young players. And they showed me that they are worth uh, quite a lot. And they are always improving, always developing. And I'm so happy for the little ginger guy, Adam Campbell, to score. Has his first Liverpool goal in the Champions League last 16 knockout round is just fantastic. It was a fairly even game, so I was chuffed to win this game and to come from behind to beat Sevilla 2-1 is just brilliant. Let's see the Champions League results now. Oh, this is brilliant. We got four million pounds for the Champions League uh, progress that we progressed into the quarterfinals. It pays so so well to do well in the Champions League. Just absolutely brilliant. Wow, guys, Daniel Aker's seven-month injury layoff is over. This feels like a new signing in the middle of the season. He got injured in September and now it's March the 22nd when he returns from injury. Just absolutely brilliant. Hopefully he can uh, give us a real, real boost in the title race. Let's see the Champions League results. And uh, Schalke, uh, Schalke beat Roma 1-0 and then he got, they got uh, beaten 2-1. So Schalke advanced on the away goals. Bayern Munich knocked out Pauk Saloniki 5-1 on aggregate. Real Madrid knocked out Galatasaray 5-1 on aggregate as well. Borussia Dortmund, on the other hand, they got knocked out by Saint Etienne. Wow, that's a real, real shock. Dortmund, the uh, recent Champions League finalists in real life got beaten by Saint Etienne. To be honest, I really like Saint Etienne, so that's uh, quite a good result. Uh, Chelsea beat Olympiacos only 2-1 on aggregate, which is quite surprising. And Man City 
Man City beat Barcelona and knocked them out. They got a 2-2 draw at the no camp, so Man City advanced for free on aggregate. And uh, what else? Paris Saint-Germain got knocked out by Inter, which is quite surprising as well because Paris Saint-Germain have a big, big squad. Inter knocked them out on away goals. So, so let's see who we get in the quarterfinals. And whoa! Probably the best team in the world right now. Bayern Munich awaits us. In the Champions League quarterfinals. Wow, what a tie. And Real Madrid will play Chelsea. That's the tie of the round as well. Saint Etienne will play Inter Milan. And Manchester City will play Schalke. So it will be most likely Man City in the semi finals. And also, hope probably Inter and Real Madrid. And uh, wow, what a tie that is promises to be. Bayern Munich against Liverpool. That is going to be an amazing, amazing game. So Agger is back into our starting lineup. He still have a, has a bandage next to his name. But I really want to um, play him, Sako and Magala. We rotate those three players at the centre-back positions. And we are playing Tottenham um, in the next game. Sturridge is still out, injured, as you can see. But uh, hopefully, hopefully he, he is not far away. From, uh, from coming back. So uh, let's see how this game goes. Uh, let me put uh, Uchan into the, re into the substitute, on the, onto the substitute bench as well. So as you can see on the right, uh, bottom right corner, we are only two points ahead of Man City and Tottenham are not in the top seven. They are uh, in 10th place, so they are having a really average season. So to be honest, we really should beat them at home if we want to win the title. And there has been too many draws lately in the league, uh, so um, I will try to keep uh, the unbeaten run going, but uh, go for the win in every game. Let's go, guys. Welcome to another huge, huge game in the title race. We have like 10, mi 10 games left or something like that, just like in real life. No, 11 games left, and we are on uh, 63 points. Which is absolutely fantastic, but in the last few games we haven't been really on top form. We drew, drew against Sunderland where we should have won. And we drew against Man United at home where we should have won as well. We could have lost that game, so that wasn't the best uh, result. But I'm really gutted about that Sunderland game where we couldn't, won, couldn't win, it didn't take our chances. So let's make up for that and let's smash, absolutely smash Tottenham here. Shakiri! Oh, great play! Lovely passing move. Royce had the vision to find Shakiri. Oh, with that brilliant pass. And Shakiri's left foot is deadly. Gomesh only just saves it. Shakiri, yes, yes, come on! <laughs> Shout out Shakiri, yes, get in! One nil up, great start in the 90th minute. Absolutely fantastic pass by Marco Royce. Shakiri takes a touch and bang, his left foot is just deadly. But that was him with his right. Oh my, <laughs> my bad, failed commentary. <laughs> Retard alert. <laughs> oh, great, still great goal with Shakiri. His right foot can be deadly as well at times. Great finish. And I think that's his eighth goal in the Premier League already. Yeah, eighth goal. From the wing to score eight goals is a great contribution to our title challenge. Martial. Martial! Oh, I could have taken another touch. What a run. Oh, come on, ref. I got the ball, ref. What? 
Oh my days, referee! Oh, that's not a red card, never in a million years, ref! I'm going to blow your car up, ref. Jesus, oh no way, that's... I got the ball even. Let me know, guys, is that a red card? I'm not sure. Ref, I'm coming for you uh, after the game. Oh! No! Clear it! Holy moly, macaroni. No, no! Oh. Thank God Kane can't finish his dinner. No! Come on! Oh, Mignoli saved my ass! Damn it! Big mistake to turn inside. And we lost the ball. Oh my goodness, Mignole, great save. So I'm bringing on, bringing on Martin Kelly for Steven Gerrard to slot in at the left back position because Sandro was red carded. Holy, what a shot! Holy moly! Great shot. Shit, we got so lucky. Mignole saved it on the line. Oh my word, Mignole is keeping us in the game at the moment. Jesus. Suarez. Shaki. What a goal that would have been. What a goal that... Let's make two substitutions, Envila and Henderson. Two defensive midfielders coming on for basically two attacking players, Shakiri and Suarez. I want to shore up the defense with this move. No way. Fuck! I can't believe it! Oh my god. Wow. Really, so many rebounds. Kai Walker shoots. It rebounds off Agger. And Christian Eriksen is there to just thump it into the empty net. The easiest chance he will get. Oh my word. Jesus! Oh my goodness gracious! Oh! Montoya is through! Montoya! Oh my god, what the chance! No, that's not... I got the ball, ref! What? I got the ball, clearly. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Sandro gets sent off. I bring on Kelly for him and he gets sent off as well. That's never a red card in a million fucking years. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. Just let's watch. Okay, guys. Just let me show you. What do you think? How is this a red card? Watch the ball. Just watch the ball. Kelly clearly, clearly kicks the ball away. Unbelievable stuff from EA. And now we are with nine men. Nine men. Unbelievable ref. Oh, Mignolet saves it. Oh, thank God for that. Oh my, this is the third 1-1 draw in the league. So basically, in three games, we dropped six points. That's like two losses. 
Oh my goodness, the referee was an absolute wanker in this game. Absolute wanker, I'm getting his car blown up. Fucking hell, after the game. He just screwed us over with two red cards. Especially the second one just infuriated me. But still, with, with nine men, I think a 1-1 draw against Tottenham is not the worst result. Let's see the other results on the league table now. So another dropped points, another set of dropped points proved very, very costly because Man City and Chelsea, both our title rivals, won and uh, that was expected. So I, we blew a six-point lead in the league. We blew a six-point lead in three games. This is why you can never be certain what will happen in football because now we are on level on points with Man City with 10 games to go. We are still unbeaten but 10 draws is very very worrying. We, we have been drawing too many games lately. 3 draws in the last uh, 3 games is not good enough. Yeah I know the games were against Tottenham and Man United the last 2 games but still we should be winning at least uh, against them at home. We beat them away from home quite comfortably, but at home we just couldn't get over the line. So um, now we just have to pick up many, many points in the last few games if we want to retain the Premier League title. The title race is just absolutely insane. One point separates now the top three teams. So thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like and uh, if you want to see the second episode later today, against the Bayern Munich in the quarterfinals of the Champions League then get this video to 150 likes thanks for watching see you later goodbye Champions League final and we are playing in the Bernabeu stadium how ironic for Barcelona oh this is you just couldn't make this up man we knocked out Juventus on penalties in the semi-finals we knocked out another Italian club in the quarterfinals, AC Milan.